I like this little front leg right here. Well, I like the whole horse. This image is a mystery. It's sort of like, it looks like it's starting out to be an elephant effigy and um, even uh, one ear is made from a fossil, or it's not an ear at all. Uh, if it's an elephant, the trunk just stopped and went off in two different directions and it shows the trunk is real curly or that whole thing could be a mouth with teeth that's one of those mysteries this is a thunderbird Fighting with a snake. I sure like the horses though. And that's a fish. I don't have the words again, uh, but I'm trying. I think a person puts themselves in uh, any viewing of art, uh, it, um, for instance, I see a fish there, and I see another fish right there, and I like seeing that, but this thing right here is one really mean looking critter, because of that big diamond eye, and the teeth, and the little Red Riding Hood look. I mean, that... I don't want to see that. I want to see this fish. And that fish. And that is... Um, that's prejudice. That's not the word. That's what I mean. I don't have the words on stuff sometimes, so... Uh, maybe somebody else explained it to me, but I see fish. Let's look at this one a little closer. There's the fish, maybe. There's the big bad wolf. Um, there is a cute little bird. There is a horse. There is the wolf again. There is a thunderbird with a snake on its wing right there.
and other stuff I do not recognize. There's a little bitty elephant right there. I like finding the little bitty ones. But, uh, Yep, I find the eyes first, and I can kind of figure out what it is. Unless it's uh, an image that I haven't studied yet. But uh, that's an interesting little stone. But I guess my favorite view, which even sits that way, from my table I've had it here quite a while, is that little bird. Just recently found the fish. And I've lost it already. There's the fish. And there's the other fish. I'm worried about real-time pareidolia. I uh, change my perspective just a little bit and decide to look for fish. And then suddenly I, I find fish. And if, uh, if they didn't have an eye, I wouldn't see it, but I'm suddenly seeing fish. Well, I don't see a fish now. Where was the fish? See? Just... I don't see a fish, but I thought I saw one in there. See? If you're going to study rock art, man, I don't know what to tell you. It's going to be fun. This little fish, which is uh, a dozen other things, um, I want to show an image that I see and why I see it. I think this is kind of important, but uh, there's a the head of a bird, Thunderbird, pecked down into the stone right there, and there's a triangle eye in there, and his wing, this wing, comes back, comes back to there. And you can see the wing shape. Comes all the way back to there. And the other one comes over to there. That is the wing of... Wow, there's another Thunderbird right there. So the wing of this Thunderbird that's made here has a wing on both sides. It has a Thunderbird on the wing. I didn't even see that when I started this video. Anyway, that's uh, that's real. I, I've studied the stonework enough to know that wings are not that difficult to find. Sometimes a wing will lead me to the uh, the shape that I need to see. But this is that little stone that uh, sat here on my desk for the longest time because I thought it was a cool looking little bird effigy and um, it's just a matter of uh, changing my perspective a little bit and, and out it jumped you know horse and wolf and fish and two thunderbirds and probably more studying rock art is awesome it's awesome This teardrop-shaped triangle eye right here and another one right there makes the head of, I think, uh, maybe an owl, but there's a wing that comes back here 
and this has original black color but it's carved out into this the wing tip and uh, on this side the wing has been made oops lost one minute, um, over here that's the wing wing comes right up here you have to look really close into the carving and um, it could be like an owl with its wings spread back like that uh, what's really cool is that the bird has a fish in its claws This is interesting. This is an elephant. Uh, there's his eyes and his trunk and his ears come back here and back over here. And it's the only image on this stone on all sides. That's the only one I saw. And it's on a pyramid. There might be some other images that I'm missing, but that looks like an elephant on a pyramid. Or a horse. Well, they could be both. <laughs> Knowing these folks, they could be both and more. On this side is also a four-sided pyramid with a smaller four-sided pyramid on the side of it. Could be just coincidence. This stone uh, had a, a feel of a natural feel for me to put my thumb there and to hold it back there. And it just uh, it doesn't show any abrasion use or anything. But that's the way it was held. It could be a crusher for you know, for ochre colors, but I want to do this with it. I'm going to have to let go for a second and take that off. Oh, well. Who said studying rock art was going to be easy or even sensible? <laughs> the color on the stones have always intrigued me, and I'm doing another experiment. I nicked my hand on the screen door this morning when I went out, and I uh, I put some blood on the cortex side of that stone. And uh, the uh, harder part of the stone. And um, i just going to leave it there and see what happens. See if it's something I can clean off or it's soaked into the stone. Or as it dries or whatever, will it change color? Uh, could that be a source of uh, red? Um, just uh, another question I'm... 
looking at. This is an observation that may be just my imagination, but in some of these Thunderbird and Snake images, I find the Thunderbird, mm, I don't know, maybe the word is appears noble, but then in some, it, for instance, this one has several Thunderbirds on it, but they look like they're overwhelmed, like they're not winning the battle. And I, um, I just can't, I think this stone is trying to tell me something, but I just, I mean, that noble book, uh, uh, I don't know, that's what I mean, there's a lot of questions, I need other people's insight uh, why? Yeah. Why? Here's the question. I'm not sure what this image is. This stone has to show. Uh, but I will look at it real well. This one is a bird holding a fish. This stone is just filled with speculation, and I'm just going to share my thoughts today. It has, I don't like making judgment, but I'm going to say that it has a semi-cruder way of carving as some, but it's filled with images. It has uh, a snake, and there's eyes for something. And there's elephants carved on the edges of it. I mean the wedge-shaped corners. Um, it has lots and lots of images. It also has traces of color. There's a yellow down in there. And an orange. And there's carvings on it. It's also just filled with images. But... This stone, the only wear on this stone is right there. Right there. And this stone weighs, well, nothing. Uh, I'd almost call it a piece of chalk. And I think that was its purpose. It was just a, a crayon. I could even make it more than that. But uh, that was what it was. It was a crayon. And what I'm thinking is that it was someone practicing, practicing their carving on something really super soft. But it survived all these years. It has these extinct animals on it, so it's very old. But it was just, uh, maybe someone was teaching someone how to carve. And this was their first little uh, project or something. But that's the only thing I can say about it. It's too light to have been used for any kind of tool. I mean, it, I could take a hammer and break it up real easy. It was uh, used as a crayon. And practicing carving. Or that's my take on it right now. First thoughts are... Uh, Someone with their hair flowing in the wind. Or someone wearing a mask. Or an animal with horns. But what looks real here... Is that, is it possible that someone found a fossil of a uh, animal's print, footprint? And um, that's what it is? Or is it because of those little channels right there? Is it something to mix color? 
There does appear to be slightly different shades of color in those two. But I'd like to think that somebody found that print somewhere and decided to uh, keep it. On this side is a large elephant. And its trunk just splits and curls back. So I don't know if that's a bifurcated elephant or not. And this side of the stone shows another image similar to that.